Hello everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm Jake. And welcome to another, this, this is a long time coming. Yeah. Oh boy, it's time for another Chick Tract. This one is a little bit different <laughs> because This it's... one, it time travels, actually. Do I you was, know what time travels? I was gonna say, this is the hottest Chick Tract of 2015 or something. Yeah, roughly 2015. This is, it came out, don't get me wrong, it came out this year. It came out yeah. recently. It's on the front page right now. But it definitely was written in 2015 and didn't make it to the press until today. <laughs> this chick tract is entitled Snowflake. It's everything you hoped it would be. I don't think it has anything to do with Jesus. It might. Um, um, I, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've only read the first two, like, like strips of it. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, it, man. It should have Jesus because, as we all know, Jesus, when he was slighted, took, took things very well and never even once... Whipped a bunch of, bunch of people selling animals at a church. Never did that. Okay. Never did that. So that's true. Jesus also was was he never mentioned how unique he was. He never once mentioned that he was special in any way. He was always like, "I'm just a dude, you know. I'm just I'm normal, like, just like you guys. Okay. I'm not I'm not I'm not interesting. I'm certainly not a snowflake, a special snowflake that nobody else is like. Definitely not." <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this. I don't even know what, what parts I'm playing, um, but uh, 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 I don't even know who the main characters are. So, But I, you should probably be this this educator. Yeah, I'll be the teacher. That I, we'll, we'll, we'll wing it. We'll dabble. Oh, yeah, we'll wing it. As if we don't always do that. For dress-up day, you got to dress like your favorite storybook characters. Look around. <clears throat> see how each one of you is different? That's like a snowflake. Snowflakes are six-sided ice crystals that fall to the ground as snow. I feel like even in kindergarten, I knew what a snowflake was. I yeah. don't think I had to have that explained by a teacher, but all right. Maybe this next part. That's kind of interesting. There are 35 basic types, but no two are exactly alike. That's just like you, class. What did we learn today? I'm unique! Just, just like, like everyone, everyone else! else. Which is, uh, okay, okay, I have a weird, there's a weird thing here. This is very, um, you know, like the fascist play, I'm not saying this is fascist, although they probably are very happy with that. Um, you know how fascists are always like, uh, they're both a, a big threat and they're not a threat at all? Yeah. This is the same thing except with American exceptionalism. You are, you are uh, a unique, exceptional individual with the capability of becoming a billionaire at any point if you just work your ass off. Also, you ain't shit, son of a bitch. You're nothing. You're not unique. You're, you're just part of your cog in the, in the machine. Like, like wh pick one. Pick one and run with it. Is the American dream a thing, or are you unique like everyone where, where you're just like, you're just a fucking piece of shit? I also think they're trying to make it look oxymoronic that you're like, we're unique no. just like everyone else, but no, right. not that's not an oxymoron, right? No. If you no, say that a group of people are are unique, that just means they're all different from each other. That's yes. not oxymoronic. <laughs> yeah, it's how the language works and how, how we classify things. But there are other kinds of snowflakes. Why are all the kids in the class dressed like, okay, not all, one, two, three, demons. Four, four of them. They're not demons. They're the characters from where the wild things are. <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, you're totally right. Yeah. Uh, do, oh. do the people at the Chick Corporation really, really hate that book for some reason? Well, it's demonic. Satan. <laughs> um, other other stuff. Definitely. I always like the art in that. No. Yeah. It's so good. I used to, I remember being a kid and just like staring at the little dots. Anyway. Some snowflakes avoid responsibility. It's not forged. This is how I identify today. I'm gender fluid or something that they don't understand. It's even uh. it's weirder than that. It just says, please excuse Sam. He was sick. My mom. They're literally saying, like, we allow all these we agendas and kids are going to start identifying as their own mothers to get out of stuff. That's that doesn't even not, make sense. That's not. No, no one's. Per well, not nobody. Somebody's pretended to be their mom for sure, like as a real like, you know, like that guy uh, 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 Ed Gein. Didn't he? Didn't he pretend to be his mom? I think he and... stole her like yeah. social security checks. I don't think he pretended to be her. Well, uh, maybe I'm just thinking of the the, You're thinking the... Of psycho, which was inspired by Ed Gein. Yeah. So I'm not far off. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, this is clearly, I don't think we have to explain to our audience how identifying works. But uh, if, if you are confused, just uh, talk, ask a question to somebody. Just ask, ask around. You'll figure it out. It's not, it's not hard. This person is pretending to be what they're not. Others think we should change the rules just for them. He tripped me, so I, I'm ahead, so I win. No, I win. I hurt more. <laughs> ah, it's the Oppression Olympics. We did it, even though this isn't how things work. We're told that the biggest victim wins. Who? No, Who we're says not. That? No, we're not. No, we're, we're saying... <laughs> Acknowledging that the biggest victims are the biggest victims and trying to help them does not mean that they win. They are still victims. Like, like if you are like, say for instance, you are tripped at the, at the Olympics, right? The person that tripped you is going to get in trouble. You don't get to win the game. Like you, you, you lose, you still lose. <laughs> You're a victim. It's not fair. Nancy Kerrigan. Great example. Great <laughs> example. Her, her knees were just clobbered to smithereens. You guys remember Nancy Kerrigan kids? You guys are... I wasn't old enough. A bunch, bu bunch of Zoomers are like, what the hell? And most Millennials are like, what the hell? I think people Nancy have seen Kerrigan. I, Tanya. They know, they know that from the movie that Margot Robbie was in. Bash some kneecaps. You know what the best part of, of, of I, Tanya is? Making Margot Robbie not look attractive at all times. <laughs> Good for her. Good for Margot. Sir, this is a kindergarten... Are you assuming my gender and age? Oh my god. It's an offensive this is great. question to snowflakes. Okay, so this is a straw man that um, yeah. people who are against like transgender individuals like myself will uh, often say. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, what's next? Trans age people? No. no. Uh, there's one example of this, and it's literally a pedophile in the UK trying to make up an excuse for why they're a pedophile. If you yeah. can find me... Literally any other examples of this where someone is legitimately trying to say that they're trans age, please let me know about it, and I will make fun of that person with you. But yeah, that's it, not the same thing as being transgender. It's there's, not. There, there's some discourse to be had about it because it's pro. Like if you if you genuinely feel as though you are a young person, um, um, and you are like 40 years old, um, I think maybe you're misplacing that shit. There's there's like. There's a very big difference about how we identify gender and the, the role we fit in society and our, 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 our place among peers and how we feel about ourselves, how we present, and how all of that conglomerates into our, our identity. None of that can, can roll back time. If you're, if you're an old trans person, you're still an old trans person. You don't get to not be old. Everyone agrees to this. It's not a choice. Um, same same thing with like someone who says I believe I'm part wolf. Well, you can't. You're a human being. We don't have that capability. That said, I'm not gonna be mean to you because you think you're a wolf. I just I'm just gonna like you're not part of the trans community at that point. These are these are things that human beings can't explain and and can't like you you or be a dragon. You like you can't know that. I'm fine if you want to larp around as that and like get a fursuit suit and like explore that aspect of your personality. Like, furries exist. Go do that. Be happy. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. But, like, like this is a fundamental misunderstanding of, of all that. And maybe if that person, um, most people, by the way, sir, this is a kindergarten. Are you assuming my gender? Um, most people are not going to respond to that like that. They're mostly going to go, oh, I actually identify as blank. You know, the only people I've ever heard say, are you assuming my gender are people that are ironically right, do it trying to be ironic and trying to yeah. make a joke i've never heard never. someone unironically say that mm -mm. Nope. it's just not something that's said it happens on twitter a lot too it'd be like hey I actually identify as like she her right him, they, them. like if someone and then people be like oh i'm sorry okay then we'll still argue but like sure like out in public <laughs> I'm, I'm still very self-conscious about my voice i'm doing voice training right now but like um like, right now, I still don't go out uh, as female. Like, I just don't, because I'm very concerned about Not being Not all the time. You do sometimes. But, like, uh, I, I would say at best I go androgynous. I'll put it that way. Sure. Okay. Um, but, like, let's say I was presenting, you know, feminine out outside, and I was, like, fully confident about it, and someone misgendered me. I wouldn't be like, did you just assume my gender? I'd be like, oh, eh, you know, uh, for one thing, I'm kind of a bitch, so I'd probably not say anything. But if I did say something, <laughs> it would be I like... Meant, I thought you meant, like, your caddy? For a second, I'm like, 
not really. Yeah. Oh, and then it, it formulated into, yeah. Yeah, no, I'd, pro- I'd just be like, oh, a- actually, uh, I'm a one. Or I'd be like, I'm trans, female, yeah. female pronouns, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't get where don't these people get this idea that, like, trans individuals are, like, all indignant assholes. Very weird. I'm sure they exist, but I've never really encountered one. And speaking of offense... Arrest him! He assaulted me with his words. <laughs> Snowflakes even twist words around. All right, so so I don't think I don't think if someone like harasses you, you should swing a bat at them. No. However, however, there are situations in society where if you call somebody a thing, I have I'm sure a lot of slurs are running around in your heads right now. You know some of them that might warrant, socially speaking. A tax. And if the tax collectors come, sometimes you gotta pay. And uh, usually it ends up being like a very ridiculous slur, and usually it has to be repeated over and over in a dehumanizing way for you to even get to that point. Or you gotta like, be a Nazi like Richard Spencer. Right. Where you're where where again, I don't think I don't think it's very cool to be sucker punching people. However, I also don't think it's cool to be swatting at a beehive and get mad at the bees. <laughs> when they sting you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, like, not cool. They're endangered and they help us, okay? Bees are good. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think anyone misunderstands, like, social currency, really, except for right-wingers when they want to be offensive. When they want, like, like, they just want to hurt people's feelings or be mean. And it's like, don't we just want to, like, like, you can have your political opinions. I disagree with them. But, like, what's the point of, like, being indecent, like, on that level, like I'm fine being like, okay, you sound you you sounding a little like a fascist here, and they could be like, you sounding a bit like a fucking commie here, bro. But like, what what is this? What is this like immutable aspects about each other that they think like is fine to just like shit on it? It's just so weird. Like they get very mad and they're like, you're black, and it's like yes, and then they start with the with the you know their n words or whatever. It's so weird. It happens all the time. This next panel is baffling to me because I don't know. I don't even understand what they're trying to go for. Tolerance? <laughs> Why chase love, them? Love one another. We're rioting for free speech. But they only said to love one another. <laughs> free speech, not theirs. Uh, so is this supposed you have the to right be... to be silent? Hurt the haters. I think this is Antifa. I was gonna say, like, okay, let's say this is Antifa. What? fascists or what yeah. right-wing people are holding signs and going just love one another it's not that's a thing. not a this thing a, that it's happens a, it's a straw man what? um and also i don't think antifa have ever said they're riding for free speech no no it's been it's been to combat injustice and, and unjust hierarchies and stuff like that and then frankly i'm not i'm not for like you know all right, let's have the Antifa discussion real quick. I am not necessarily always for uh, what some people might consider violence. And if you consider property damage violence, I'll include that. Not always. However, there will be a situation. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's bound to happen. If you make enough people economically encumbered, they will they will do that shit. They will do that shit, even if it's on behalf of somebody else. And then add on to the fact that there are social injustices that we still haven't addressed fully, specifically BLM, stuff like that. Um, transgender rights are a great example. Um, these are things that are incorporated in, 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 in these demonstrations, most of which are, are entirely peaceful. But, I mean, when you have the police and, and police brutality being a chief among among the, the, the topics of the, of the uh, protests... And then you bring militarized police into a situation where they're protesting police violence. You are not helping. You are exacerbating the issue. It's the Richard Spencer thing swatting at the beehive. You cannot be surprised that the bees sting you. If Even if you're spraying them with things that kill them, they're going to come back. And, like, it's it's just so strange to me that people think, like, yes, I can beat you down and suppress you because I don't like what you're saying, and it's literally, I don't like what you're saying. I think and this, this like, drawing would be more accurate if instead of holding a sign that said, heart one another, they were driving a car towards the protesters at high Exactly, speed. exactly. I don't know. Like, it's just so weird to me that they, they think, like, 
Like, is this how they actually see it, or is it, or is it? Do you think that the the people writing this at, at uh, uh, Jack Chick Company are like, you know what? Let's draw man this shit. Like, is this how they think? The the counter protesters are love one another. They're pretty delusional, so I don't I know, but know. that's very delusional. Yeah. I don't think most right wingers are like, yeah, we're holding the love one another signs. No, fuck those guys. <laughs> right? They're commies, right? Yeah. Equality. Honey, I wanted our relationship to be give and take. Oh, but it is, darling. You give and I take. What did an incel write this one? Did so like that's a, a straight couple. <laughs> okay, I thought they were gonna have. Or are they? I can't tell. Actually, no. There's. I think that. I think it's a man and a woman. Uh, okay. Did like All a right. MGTOW fascist <laughs> write this track? Is that who they're hiring over in Chick so. these days? Are these, are these actually <laughs> snowflakes, or are they really just selfish? What is? So only the women are the selfish ones. <laughs> I don't understand. People want their own selfish way. Believe it or not, according to the Bible, this started way up in heaven. Hey, so they're just saying it's all Satan. Yeah. Why shouldn't I be worshipped? I'm all, after all, I'm perfect. And That's indeed Satan. he was for a while. Thou wast perfect in the ways from the day thou that thou wast created, till inequity was found in thee. Ezekiel 28, 15. That's not, okay, it's not about, it's not about Lucifer. Uh... <laughs> This was Lucifer who stretched his wings over God's throne. I will ascend into heaven and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. His position really went to his head. I have a question. Why is God allowing that? Yeah, and he made him so he knows this is going to happen. Yeah, he's all knowing. I don't, I don't understand. Like every time... Every time something spooky happens and God's like, well, I don't know, it's like sins and stuff. It's like he could have stopped that shit. So every bad thing that ever happens is God's fault. That's a fact. It's, it's not, it's not, okay, moving on. Lucifer convinced a third of the heavenly host to join his rebellion against God. Is this Mormons? Are they Mormons? <laughs> I was going to say he looks very mormon -y. The wings don't even look like natural, like, bird wings. Like, you normally get, it looks like they're, like, metal ones that fold out, like... Ooh, those are cool, like uh, the X-Men. Yeah, a little bit. They were powerless against God. Lucifer and his lost angels were evicted from heaven. <laughs> Of course, God's a landlord. They became <laughs> ugly, angry devils. Lucifer's insurrection cost him everything. Well, I don't, think all, I don't think all people agree that demons are gross. I think some people want to fuck demons. I'm just tossing that out there. I saw a Reddit thread once where someone was trying to summon a succubus. It was in a subreddit where people really believe in the occult. And someone was oh, trying wait. to summon a succubus. So they could fuck a succubus? Yeah. And everyone in the comments was taking this deadly seriously. And they're like, dude, they're going to kill you. Why would you want to do this? And he's like, I don't care. I want to fuck that succubus. Hey, and you, know, you know what? It's like that guy in Vesuvius who was holding his dick, but he, and he's and he's forever in ash, masturbating. Yeah, that's that. That's that same energy, dude. And I, I, I respect it. <laughs> in his hatred, he focused his revenge on mankind. Now we know him as Satan, the adversary, the devil, the dragon, and the serpent. His first target was Eden. Who's calling? Yes. Who's Calling Satan the dragon. He just sounds like a really cool member of like the Yakuza. I was gonna he's say like the, he's like the big boss in like a like a like a I don't know Yakuza. It yeah, sounds the, to the me like like the dragon. It's like one day Satan was just like he, he's just telling everyone, "Hey guys, call me the dragon," and everyone's like, "Satan." Why we gotta call you the dragon, Satan? <laughs> I just think it Is sounds it, cool. It's mysterious. You already added the devil. I don't the care. Dragon. I'm dragon. I'm the dragon now. I mean, it's pretty lame. Craig is enough for me. Fuck off, Craig. I'm sorry. That made me feel bad. Do you think Satan? Do you think Satan ever has remorse for mistreating Craig? No. The dragon has no remorse. <laughs> You know what I have remorse for? Look at this new updated The Serpent in Adam and Eve's <laughs> Garden. Wow. Right. This is like this is like uh, um, when Marvel did the 2099 series and, and the Hulk got a fin on his head. Yeah! Okay. It's the same it's the same shit. 
I was thinking it looks a little bit like a like a emaciated Yoshi from the Super Mario Brothers movie <laughs> with Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Dennis Hopper, good Bowser. Oh, uh, oh, oh! They use the word triggered. The serpent triggered Eve's selfish desire to eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge. God had said they'd die the day they did, but the serpent had that angle covered. But, okay, but, like, well, God lied about that. Yeah. That's a lie. They lied. didn't die he's, that he's, day. He's a liar. Lying's not good, but apparently it's fine. Uh, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Why is this fucking Shakespeare in the park? Why you yes. thereof? Just what? Mm. I've literally only ever talked to one other person and God. Maybe learn how to speak. How do you know who Shakespeare is? Say. <laughs> Satan, mean a knowledge of? Satan tricked Eve. She ate from the tree of the knowledge of Shakespeare. That there's just a That's a different tree. A totally different tree. tree. Satan tricked Eve into feeling that God was holding out on her. Oh, Like they're all heroin addicts living in an apartment together and God's got a secret stash no one else Christ. knows about. And it worked! Selfishness is contagious from Lucifer to Eve then to Adam. I know it's wrong, but look, I'm just Ben Shapiro with hair. <laughs> and he does look like Ben Shapiro! <laughs> it's just Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd it's, watch it. Uh, Shapiro was the actor in The Fly instead of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone, face up that. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Ben Shapiro shirtless in The Fly with that hair. And so Adam also ate from the tree knowledge. Apparently, which was a banana. What is that? It looks oh no, like an eggplant. No, it's an eggplant or something. Or like, yeah. it's it's some fruit that doesn't exist. It's a know. Bepis fruit. It's got a little Bepis on the end of it. <laughs> but the only knowledge they gained was that they had done evil in God's sight. Now no. they were naked in their sin before God, and they knew it. When That's God not... confronted them... But... <laughs> Adam blamed Eve, who blamed the server, who lost his legs for it. So, it just, whoever whoever the buck stopped with was whose fault it was. I like that. Which is weird, because I would put another arrow, and who blamed the serpent, who should have blamed God for creating him and knowing this was going and to now, happen. And now, God is legless. This is God, by the way. No. He's just, he's just a fella. Just a fella. With a beard. Okay. Adam, do you think for, do you think Adam and Eve, because they don't realize they're naked until they eat of the fruit. Yeah. Shouldn't God have showed up and then been like, hey, fucker, why didn't you tell us we were naked? <laughs> right. And then God should be like, because he's all-knowing, he should be like, uh, well, there's nothing to be ashamed about. <laughs> you're both hot I'd like you're to think, alone. I'd like to think the conversation was like, why did you not tell us we're naked? You need to get out of my garden right now. <laughs> get out. It's to there's avoid a, questions. The flaming sword is behind him and just like. Oh, look, a pope. There's a pope over there. Yeah. There's a... They all stink. They're all like pig pen from Peanuts. Yeah. There's a lot of non-white people in this stinky people picture. Let Mazers. me see. Yeah. I'm trying There's to... A lot. One, two, three, yeah, four. Wow. Five, six, seven. So they're selfish, sick, sin-sick people, all headed for God's judgment. We are all like sheep, following the wrong crowd straight to hell. We deserve it, and deep down, we know it. Maybe these guys are just, like, closet masochists, and they don't know how to get that energy out, you know? I don't know. I think they need to, more cock and ball torture is probably the answer. Uh, maybe we are not so unique after all. We are all sinners. Speaking of cock and ball torture, Jerry Falwell Jr. is a cuck. I did see that. Yeah. I find that Hey, hilarious. whatever you're into, whatever you're into, I just yeah. think it's funny that you're a hypocrite. The pool boy would... Who has a pool boy? Apparently him. Who would bang his wife and he'd sit in the corner and enjoy the show as does it were. Does he jerk it or does he just watch? Oh, he definitely jerks it. I think so. Why not join in? It's a gay. I think he it's thinks gay. it's gay. It's gay. It's probably gay. The funny thing is, like, 
the university that he was like the head of before they like forced him out. Liberty, right? Like you're not even allowed to watch like R-rated movies, and meanwhile he's having well, like pretty, pretty cuck fantasies play out. Like the hypocrisy. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, I'm not here to good for her anything. though. Like, hey, get your dick, lady. Like there obviously was some, you know. I don't think you're getting it from Jerry Falwell. I think for investigative purposes, we need to get prints of uh, both Jerry Falwell and the pool boys' dicks so we can compare. Well, it's all about the hips, though. Like, after a certain point, what if they're, I mean, you know, what if what if Jerry is thicker but shorter? <laughs> Probably better. They just couldn't use it. Stature-wise, guys, stature-wise, not as ding-dong. Anyway, so... Uh, Jesus said some stuff that I don't really give a shit about. Um, uh, apparently, we're not unique. We're all sinners. Oh, look. Oh, look. Some QAnon spears- conspiracies. Nice. Wait. Let's no. There's it. no QAnon conspiracies. Page 18. God knew we could make up for our sins, so he sent us in to do what we couldn't. Jesus said, I came out from heaven not to do mine, but to do will send. And there's Israel. And then there's Gaza Strip That's stuff That's not happening. QAnon. QAnon doesn't have to do with Israel. QAnon is about... Donald def- Trump trying to destroy the deep state pedophiles, satanic. Well, there's ring. that. There's that. And then there's also the connection. I mean, I <laughs> I don't know who you get your QAnon conspiracies from, but I, but I get them from the best source ever, which is uh, Edge of Wonder, which is Ben and not Ben. Okay. And they, <laughs> okay, they can connect it. They can connect it to goddamn anything. Let's and I the- know for a fact that they think that Israel is going to be the the, the start of the war against the time traveling aliens with mind powers who are us from the future in a million years but are coming back to help us against the demons who are actually lizard people who live in the core of the earth and create light with sound waves i am not making any of that up they literally believe every single word i said and i trust them in fairness, Edge of Wonder are basically conspiracy theories for conspiracy theorists that find... Con- it's like they, they've... Uh, They're the kids' bop of conspiracy theorists. They, they just... Everybody can come on in. Yeah! It's yeah. like they put everyone under they one They change the words a little bit so they don't get copyrighted. Yeah! It's like it's a bop. meta-conspiracy theory. It's just all of them. All of them. It's so good. So, I mean, if you don't have one grand unifying conspiracy theory theory... Then what are you here for? Jesus did this for us. Da, 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 da. No yeah, he died. You get it. He died, was buried three days later, but then Jesus rose from the dead. Having paid for our sin, he opened the way to a new, forgiven life extended into eternity. But in another, in another way, we are each unique. We, Lord Jesus, I believe you. Please forgive my sins. We must each ask his forgiveness and trust in his in the shed blood of Jesus Christ who died in our place to pay for our sins. Sorry, selfish, thanks for forgiving me. Can I go? I'm wearing white jeans. <laughs> I obviously have places to go. You don't lounge in white jeans. You are headed elsewhere. After our sins are forgiven, we have a new relationship with God, and oh, he gives okay. us his Holy Spirit to help us show God's unselfish love in a selfish wor- world. Here are yeah. some ways... Look not every man on his own things, but okay. every man also on the things of others. Does this have anything to do with gender identity yet? Nah. Um, so. It doesn't say don't, don't like, hey, if you feel like something, don't do that. Okay. And then there's this last panel, which is uh, showing God loves us all. God loves each of us individually, and then will shove us off a cliff as we slowly walk towards the precipice into the lake of fire. <laughs> Which is how God loves us. That's love. Yeah. It's no. It's it's. I'm I'm utterly shocked that we have an abuse issue in the Christian community. <laughs> utterly shocked. Just wild. So. So. This sort of petered out when they started talking about Jesus. Yeah, I think it started they, out so good. I think they really just wanted to bitch about people they th- <laughs> think are snowflakes. I think that's. I mean, I'll it. I'll debate. Anyone from 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 Chick Publications on snowflakiness, I guarantee they leave before I do. <laughs> Is that your bar for winning a debate? Forcing my, someone to leave? Forcing them to leave? No, I'm just saying. Like, like I'm just saying they'll be offended first. Just saying. <laughs> More snowflakey than me for sure. 
Fair enough. I always find it weird that people on the right call people on the left snowflakes when they get mad about, like, Starbucks cups and yeah. the Dixie chicks calling the, out, you know. The Dixie chicks are no longer the Dixie chicks, right? They're just the chicks? I have no idea. I thought they changed their name. I know Lady Antebellum changed their name to Lady A, and then there was a black singer. Because Lady Antebellum, they didn't want to be, like, like Antebellum has, like, racist connotations yeah. to it. Um site of racial injustices and then they changed the name to lady a but lady a is the name of a black singer and then they sued her oh that's not how you do the equalities no just change your name in general but no one listens to lady antebellum anyway so i'm pretty sure um, i'm pretty sure right now donald trump is uh like snowflakey about the nfl or something i think he tweeted <sighs> something about that today Oh yeah, he's he's always snowflakey about the NFL. Like people people don't like him. He doesn't like that people don't like him, but he doesn't want to do anything to make people like him. Yeah, because because he has some hard. rabid he has some rabid people that really love him, and yeah. he likes that more than more than the other thing. Um, I don't know. It's okay though. That's all right. Eventually, eventually. We're all gonna live in gay space communism. There's nothing that you can do about it. We aren't. We'll be dead. Well. Maybe we'll be robots. That'd be cool. Bring me back like the as robots. robots. Like the robot in Rocky IV. Yes. Happy birthday, Polly. What <laughs> hole does he use with his when he has relations with the robot? Because he has them. I think he just rubs up on it. Just rubs on it? Yeah. Hmm. Polly's a drunk, so he just gets real drunk and he just gets on the robot and just wherever he can slide in. Like digital hot dogging. Glizzies. Digital glizzies. So, now that we've <laughs> run everybody off, um, you can follow us on Twitter at Papa Bird Jake. Hannah Reloaded. You can follow us on the Twitch at uh, Actual Jake. Twitch.tv slash Actual Jake. Twitch.tv slash Hannah Reloaded. I have a debate coming up about Black Lives Matter. They do. That's that's my stance. <laughs> I do a bunch of fun stuff. Conspiracy theory debunks. Chud watch. Well, not enough conspiracy theory debunks. If you don't believe that the 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 werepires are coming for us, yes, werewolves plus vampires. I, I that's another thing is that's that totally true of, that they is that believe. That's an edge of wonder thing. Is the <laughs> is there any other kind of thing? Okay. I watched a video they did a, w a while back about uh, how robot velociraptors are being invented by the military. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Like, I fucking love them. And so how much. they think the Terminator movies are based on real <sighs> events. I'm telling you, they're fucking great. And awful, and I hate them. And they both blocked me. Oh, did you see the one where they claim that a, a rogue clone wrote, like, every hit song in the last 30 years and they were being abused? Yeah! The yeah! And they, they, the whole time they were being abused. And so the, and they, they coded, like, Hit Me Baby One More Time as, like, literally, like, a code to the rest of us to come help. I looked but at instead of instead of saying, like, help me, I'm a clone and I am trapped away in a thing, it's just Britney Spears... Uh, enticing older men with her 15 year old body and everyone's like this is sexually fine two things remember the 90s that was a weird time firstly i'm shocked they didn't mention weird ales i think i'm a clone now because that would have fit secondly i looked True. at a list of number one songs in the period they said he was writing and walk like an egyptian is in there and i would True. just like to imagine them be like write that song Psh! All the old paintings on the tomb, they do the same dance, don't you know? It was well, wasn't uh, Africa then? Toto's Africa? That's I don't know. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, man, there were so many things that happened. Sammy Charmed Life. It's about, it's about meth. Anyway, so, uh, I think that's, that's the end yeah. of it. That's all of it. It's the whole thing. Patreon, and that's, that's the last thing. So thanks everyone. For coming to the thing. If you double salute, is that does it cancel out? I, I don't. Is one a negative like wave? Like mm, ooh, one more thing. I went to a wedding 
I went to a wedding and I was one of the, the I was the best man at my brother's wedding. And uh, so I had to walk with somebody and then they're like, we're, we're taking pictures. Okay, do whatever you want. And the bridesmaid I was with uh, was like, okay, let's do a disco thing. And I was like, all right. And then, so I did the disco thing, but she just went, so, everyone made fun of her. Uh, that's not how disco is. That's you, you mixed up your really cool movements. Anyway, that's, the Hitler salute. that's it. Follow us on Twitch, like we said. It's where like a majority of our content is nowadays. Because we make yeah. money there, so go yeah, there. We can actually, we can actually survive there. Um, seriously, it's really good content, and, and you're missing out. And if you don't show up, I mean, what do you like not having like content? Like, do you enjoy that aspect of your life? I don't understand that. It's just a different platform. Just click on it. You're gonna like it. Twitch is fantastic, and honestly, it gives you way more than YouTube has ever given you. Oh, one ever. More. One more thing. Did you see the stream Jeremy deleted where he talks about how he's into uh, brother-sister incest porn? No, but I would really like that video tonight. <laughs> I can send you a link. I'll send you a link right after I end this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Tuesday. It's time to work. Okay. So uh, that's it. Turn yeah. it off. Turn it off. <laughs>